What's good, everybody? It's your boy Adrian Nice. Welcome to Mouthing Out. Right now, I'm here with it's your boy Maintain, Jermaine Spencer, the owner of J. Spencer Agency, and the founder of the Platform Music and Culture Series. I see you repping the screw. You already know, screwed up. We stay screw gang till I die, man. Check us out, screw.com, streetwear, fire. Look, Maintain, man, I know you be doing a lot of stuff. Let's talk about your resume a little bit. Let's talk about kind of a little more what you've done and what you got coming up. All right, bet. So, uh, hey, man, shout out to all my Aggies, by the way, man. It all started back at A&T. But look, man, <laughs> yo, B&R Records, man, nine years, head of operations, doing a lot over there. I managed about four or five artists. I founded Brooke Hummel, uh, Raheem. After that, started my own agency. I still work with those guys, and, yo, shout out to... The owner of BNR Records and Wave, the Ross Share. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. But anyway, um, yo, so my agency, Jay Spencer Agency, I'm focused on brand partnerships, event curation, and artist management. So um, I've been doing a little media relations here and there. Um, I work with Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Dupree's dad as well. Got some cool projects coming up 2023 with Mr. Malden. So uh, tap in, man, and artist consultations, man. So if you're an artist out there and you need to, like, get a good strategy going, if you have a small team or no team, I'll be able to help you out. So, okay, let's talk about the platform, and then I got some follow-up questions. Word, word, word. Hey, well, the platform, man, is uh, I created that event back in 2019. The event was really about... Um, you know, just enhancing the music ecosystem for independent artists of the Carolinas, man. So we've been doing it once a month. And it's kind of like a session, panels. We got uh, showcase, heavy networking. And, man, you're going to tap in with some dope people at the platform every time. You never know who you might meet. So I know before that you used to do a concert series. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it Carolina Connection or was it? It's kind of close. It's uh, Carolina's Artist Connection. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, um, did you kind of just, the following that you built from that, did you kind of take that and put that into this, or what, you know? Well, the Carolina's Artist Connection was, was just created when I was at BNR Records. And really, that was a, a BNR Studio a turnkey event where we connected with a lot of artists in the area. And from there, man, like, I mean, I've done platforms and, and, and showcases before. But, I mean, that was back in 2009 when I did it with the Carolina, well, she was called the QC Music Series. And that was 2009, bro. So I've been doing that type of shit for a minute. So really right now, it's just really about building the infrastructure, building the ecosystem for the independent music industry. Whatever it is, man, that's what I do. What do you want uh, the platform to turn into? Do you want it to be like something like, you know, how Revo, they have their big little summit thing or, you know, keep expanding? Or yeah. Like well, yeah, so the platform, the ultimate goal for that is to have a weekend summit. It doesn't have to be a big week thing, but like a weekend, two day, where we will bring in the culture to the Carolinas. We'll bring in the major, you know, the PR agents and booking agents and managers and all those type of, the industry folks, and we'll bring them to the Carolinas so you can connect with them. But outside of that, man, there's some other things that are coming very soon that I'm about to be a part of that the city of Charlotte is putting a lot of money into. So it's gonna be kind of like that, but we'll see. That's what I was about to ask. What What do you think it takes to make stuff like that happen? And I was gonna say, does the city have to get behind it? Or, you know, yeah. yeah, so you think about South by Southwest, you think about VidCon or Culture, uh, Complex Con, all that stuff, there is some type of backing by, uh, you know, like the city government, the council. There might be an official media council or entertainment office that houses all these things, especially in Austin and New York City and LA, obviously. So, in Atlanta, they have an entertainment uh, uh, council. So, Charlotte needs to get that shit tapped in. And once that happens, man, you're going to see a lot. But the Carolinas is moving slowly but surely. Um, they take, it's taking a while, but you know, better late than never. You know what I'm saying? Since you are tapped in with the uh, music scene, who are some bubbling artists who uh, that you are, are hearing about that you got your eyes on? Well, Carolina specifically, definitely Jay Hines. Uh, definitely uh, Mary Mack. Um, yeah, definitely... Man, that's some dope artists. Casino P, uh, definitely Westside Gun, definitely my man Tommy Mack, that's my boy. 
Uh, it's some dope artists and out here in Raleigh, Durham area. Man, I've known Sky Blue for a minute. Sky Blue still, Sky Blue still going crazy. 3 a.m. sounds. A lot of guys that are doing some dope things in the city. But yeah, man, y'all tap in with them. <laughs> People, are, I, I try to catch them, but I turn my head. Yeah, it's Sky. By the way, that's my boy. That's my boy. Hey, shout out to Tango. That's my boy. Um, and so you said you're doing consultations too. Wait, so who do you have any artists signed to your uh, agency? Yes. So Casino P is one of the artists that I, I, I manage. Um, but really, that's it. But I've done some artist consultation. No, I, so, sorry. I've done some booking agent stuff for uh, Daenerys Farrar, for um, Mary Mack, for Tommy Mack. All these guys, I've done some booking, some type of booking for. From like that's more like ad hoc, you know, project by project type shit. But the artist that I'm signed with or signed with me and we're working and partnering with, that's Casino P. And then I think we touched on this in the last interview, but it was so long ago, I want to re-ask it. Why the transition from, you know, working with the label to, you know, starting your own situation and, you know, putting the ball in your court? Right. So, yeah, that's it. Not necessarily ball in my court, but I know what I can do. Um, I know what I can do. You still go work. This guy's crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> listen, listen. We are in a big ass event where there's a lot happening, y'all. They see it. They see it. They see it going out. How you missed that? Look, mind that. Never mind that. But look, um, so I forgot the goddamn question. What was the question again? Um, <laughs> What sparked the transition from actually oh, working with the label? You had to do your own um, So yeah, man, just building legacy, man. Legacy, it's about legacy. And having that agency, I've built a lot of contact, a lot of information, a lot of experience. And I decided to put you know, my own thoughts and ideas into play with my own capital or other people's money, whatever the case may be. But I mean, I still work with BNR in a way, but at the end of the day, it's about legacy. I got kids, I got sons. And I'll be able to pass those things on too. And that's what we're doing, man. Like, And then New Year's resolution. I got to ask you, what's your New Year's resolution? We're going into the new year. Uh, man, just being more consistent. Just being more consistent on. It's so many things I'm doing and trying to compartmentalize with a lot of different things. So many things I'm trying to prioritize. But being consistent in all of those things, it's tough keeping all, all those things glued together. Having kids, all that shit. But uh, man, it's an all Damn it. <laughs> It's all good. Let him come on. Just tap in, man. Make sure you stay consistent. And that's even hitting the gym. I'm trying to stay more consistent in the gym and working out. Get your ass in there working out. You know what I'm saying? Come on, big bench presses out there, my boy. That's my New Year's resolution. But I'm going to stick with it the whole year. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, that's it, man. Just really be just be consistent. If you're listening right now, focus on being consistent. Don't procrastinate. Get it done right now. Any last words before we get out of here and then social media? Hey, man, last words, man. Like I just said, be consistent and just go for it. But, yeah, my social media, you can find me. Tap in right now. Maintain. M-A-Y-N-E-T-A-Y-N. Also, Jay Spencer Agency and the Platform NC. Tap in.